So I guess the the prompt that I gave you guys for your characters was just an animal that would, you would find in a pet store. And that's kind of it. So I would love to, because it doesn't particularly matter what your who your characters are to get started. So why don't we just introduce them and then we'll get into the story. Okay. Um, I am playing a parrot. Um, my background is both a French and Japanese. So my first name is Pear, and my last name is Akito. Um, and you'll be doing a Japanese accent, of course, right? Oh, no, I'll, I'm, I, I'll be speaking in a French accent, actually. But <laughs> Pear, I, For those of you didn't know, who didn't catch that, my name is Parakito. <clears throat> Parakito. That's, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Same for it. I almost went for another Dr. Phil joke, but then I was like, eh, it's been done. Because I was like looking up parrots and I was like, a macaw. I could totally be Dr. Philip Macaw. But did that last week. Anyways. Um, and, oh, um, and my superpower is that I can translate from animal into human. So I can, oh, I will be able to, yeah. if, we, if we interact with humans, I will be able to try and translate, though maybe not so well, because I have, as I, as previously stated, I have a thick French accent. Are we doing superpowers? Because I, I interpreted unique talent as just like a normal animal thing you're good at. Yeah, and that's, yeah, she can I, kind of do that. Okay. I, feel like, I feel like in Ian's thing, he said, oh, special ability. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that works. Actually, I love that. So, okay. Yeah, that's great. Well, my special, my unique talent, I'll go next. Wait, are you done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, wait, what, what was your background? What do you look like? Oh, God. Um, so this is where the improv would really come in handy. Um, I did not got that. I, so I, uh, I've i been around the pet store for a while. Have you, guys seen, have you guys seen, have you guys ever seen the movie Polly, where he's like this parrot that's like been through a lot. And so he like has this, like he's like kind of got this like, hardened exterior he doesn't like <laughs> he uh tries, tries to pretend that he's super tough um that's me I've, been, I've just been passed down to too many owners as you all know parrots live a long time and can outlive people and so i've just seen too many of my loved ones pass on and uh, it's really hardened me to the outer world and add that on to the fact that i'm like french and i'm just very cynical um i've been smoking a pack a day for the last 10 years of my long long life um, it's just been a real hard life for me. It's amazing that you can do that without lips. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'd be surprised. Yeah. The, uh, the, the pet shop owner actually is kind enough to roll me like tiny little cigarettes, um, which I'm going to have to find a new, I guess, supplier for if we ever escape this place. You never know. Mm -hmm. I assume a parrot might just kind of like deep throat the cigarette to get like an actual like point of suction on it so like you just instead of like putting the cigarette in his beak it's just kind of like but you could smoke that way yeah i guess you can't get like yeah you can't get a good seal you, you waste a yeah. lot of tobacco the smoke like leaks out the other side but he just likes it it makes it makes him look cool yeah, yeah. you can like you can also I mean, like you, you can, you're, you're an animal scientist so you can you can like if you close your beak and you like put it into your like one beak nostril and then put like close off the other one with your like wingtip, then it the smoke goes right in there. Yeah, nose smoking. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Nose. Yeah, there's a nose smoking sign on my cage. <laughs> All right, Kelly, tell us All about right. your character. So, um, yeah, uh, because I'm trying to shamelessly curry favor uh, with the GM, I am a ferret. Uh, named Skeeter. Um, so what do I look like? Long. Like long <laughs> even for a parrot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Checks yeah. out. And um, like kind of like and even for a ferret when you look in my eyes it's Extra like Extra beady? Yeah, like a little more soulless than a normal ferret. Like just I look that much more dead inside. Ten percent more dead inside. Nice. Okay, you got ten percent buff to being dead inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my backstory is that like I was uh adopted by a family um 
not too long ago and I was returned to the store in like a week because I suck. Um, like <laughs> oh. I'm not saying the family tried that hard, but it was one of those families where they're like, oh, we'll get a ferret and did like no research. It's like me. Yeah, exactly. And immediately got to this point where they were like, oh, well, if, like we're not having any fun with this ferret. And so they took me back to the store. Um, and, uh, my unique talent, uh, which I guess is almost, it's pretty much as good and powerful as like, you know, being able to translate human to animal. Uh, my unique talent is biting, <laughs> but like a lot, like yeah, I, I chew nice. through things you wouldn't expect even for a ferret. Ooh, you can summon extra ferret powers to basically bite shit. Nice. Yeah. And... That's part of the reason I was returned to the store. Um, I didn't do my stats yet because I was wondering if I could. Um, I'm wondering how flexible you are in the rules that we came up with. So you mean the rules that you came up with that I've never played with before? Well, the you idea, basically change them. However the thing you want. that we have written down is that you start all your stats at minus one and distribute four points as you see fit, right? So if you really wanted a min-max, you would just stay two of them at minus one, and the other one is like three. But can okay. I drop one lower? Can I be a minus two? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So I want to be a minus two of understanding, I think. <laughs> okay, yeah. Senseless. Senseless ferret. Yeah. And then, like, I'll just be, like, an even zero psyche. And uh, I guess a three of body. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I'm going flexible. hard. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly strong. Okay, I love it. I love it. I love ferret the skeeter. That feels overpowered. I'm gonna be a two body and a one psyche because I've got that that energy. Nice. Okay. Uh and Katie, tell us about your animal adventure. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I am the a uh, cat. Um nice. My name is Jack Onyx. I'm an English cat born into a life of luxury, actually, in England. Sorry, Jack, Jack Onyx? Jack Onyx. Oh, Jack Onyx. Okay. Onyx. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, so someone born into... when you thought of Jack Onyx. <laughs> I was just like, I, I just wanted to make sure I heard You're that. like, interesting choice. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, I'm like a rare breed that was born into like a life of luxury, but then um, kind of got got loose on the streets for a little bit. Um, but I was accepted back into the pet store because I'm this rare breed. So they're trying to still still sell me, um, except that by now I'm kind of sort of scrappier looking. So like I'm black and gray and I've got like some fur missing on my head, um, but I do wear a bow tie. Um, which is kind of ripped, but it's, uh, you know, an ode to my English roots. Um, nice. And I just had my, like, ability or whatever was that I could jump really high. Is that is that a thing? Yeah. That, yeah totally. Does that work? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cats totally cool. do that. Uh, da, da, jump really high. I guess we're ready to start, eh? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah brother. Let's do it. Hell yeah. All right, everyone. Be it's Sunday afternoon at the local pet cetera. Nearing its closing hour as the young clerk is counting the cash in the till, she looks over at the aisles of the animals with affection. She loves animals, particularly horses. If only they were allowed in the store, she mews to herself. She closes the till and does her final round saying goodnight to all the animals. She lovingly pets a extremely long ferret. <laughs> and thinks about how simple it must be to live as an animal. She fantasizes about it a lot. She walks out to the front door. She walks out Wait, 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 is she walking away from petting me? Yep. When she pets me, I bite her. And she just chuckles and... <laughs> Rascal. Okay. And she does, like, the neck pinch thing and just puts it back in the, in the cage. Um, she walks up to the front door, walks out and locks up and heads off. But she was wrong about one thing. These animals were not so simple, in fact. When she leaves in the evenings, things get more complicated than she could even imagine. And then we cut in to uh, good old Skeeter. 
just kind of like rummaging around in the in his pet cage. And you hear you hear in the distance. Hey, Skeeter. Yes. <laughs> the the humans gone. The rest have gathered. Uh, it's time to go. Uh, yes, of course, yes. All right, let's go, let's go, Islands, let's go. Follow me. What can I bite? What can I bite? And he like does like a intricate uh, like at the back of your fair cage. He just like pulls a lever and like and a crank and it just like comes down. Do like I a, see who did this? Uh, yeah, and then on the other side of the door, you see um, uh, Sneaky Pete. The weasel. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, all right, my friend, let's go. The others are waiting. I, I'm like already darting at him. Just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you guys do like, you're like a fair and a weasel. And you're just like, <laughs> like fucking crazy and shit. And you uh, come up, you're like walking behind the walls of like the pet center. That's where like the false door came out of. And it opens up into like this big area. It's got like a bit giant overhead lamp. That's kind of like dramatically swinging mm. back and forth. And uh, Sneaky Pete kind of like darts up and you see uh, you see a parrot, uh, which you recognize as Parakeeto, a cat, Jack Onyx, and you see the Toad Father, which is a, bull, a bullfrog who's like wearing a tiny jacket, <laughs> and top hat, and smoking this, this cigar. And he's like, uh, it's nice of you to join us, Skeeter. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, I like, is there something near where I can chew on? Uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's like Squeaky Pete. There's Squeaky Pete, which is a different <laughs> character who's a mouse. <laughs> mm -hmm. What other Pete's are around? So, so, I, 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 I want to, uh, I want to examine my surroundings for Pete. Uh, there's, yeah, there's a Sweepy Sweepy Pete, which mm -hmm. is a chinchilla. All right. Um, you got a Sleepy Pete. Yeah. Which is a. It's a sleepy animal. Is Streaky Pete the snail there, the slug? <laughs> yeah, Streaky Streaky Pete is there, mm -hmm. and he's uh, he's doing his thing. But Sweepy Pete is right behind him, cleaning up. And uh, what about Sheepy Pete, the sheep. Uh, sh we don't talk about Sheepy Pete. Oh, no. Sheepy <laughs> Pete is. Mm. I mean, if you want to bite something, you can. But. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um. Anyways, yes, the Toad Father looks at you all and he's like. Well, uh, as you know, plans needed to be accelerated. It's not so simple. We can't just wait out the humans any longer. We uh, we need to get out of here, and we need to get out fast. And uh, it's you, the team that I've decided to be the cr the crack crack team that we need to escape here. I'm talking, of course, about you, Parakito, Skeeter, and Jack Onyx. You're the best soldiers we have, and the only hope for us to get out of here in time before you know what happens. Yeah, we're the crack team. We're going to the glacier. We're going to the glacier. We're going to smoke some crack. Let's go. <laughs> Skeeter, <laughs> enthusiastic as always. Are you in, Parakeeto? Can I, like, hold my cigarette up and I go, that bitch forgot my sunflower seeds again. If I have to eat one more kernel of corn, I'm going to bite their nose off. These conditions are shit. I agree. Jack Onyx. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, oh, I should have thought this uh, accent through this English thing. Um, I get into an English accent. Yep. Yes, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Jack Onyx on it as always. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Are I'm there any kind of like crevices or like, uh, like this room we're in? Like, this is like a back room of the pet store? Yeah. So they're like, any kind of like small areas under shelves or like just little like areas I can weasel myself into like within the step. And uh, Sneaky P says, what the fuck did you just say? Something you can weasel into? You know how I <laughs> feel about that, man. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, I, and I, I, just, I just try to get under like some sort of object that doesn't like, is not within broom's reach exactly. And he like follows you. He's like, "Hey, I, hey, you can't just walk away from me like that." I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I and I poop under the under the the cabinet. Oh, fuck, I'm under. gross! Oh. And he like leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, the Toad Father looks at you guys and he's like, "All right, today is a uh, uh, January thirtieth, so we have one day to get the fuck out of here before the new rotation comes in." Uh, I've gotten some information from. Uh, <laughs> The wise, the wise one, that every month we basically get rotated and exterminated. 
I know it's hard to believe, but it's got to be tonight. And, and they, 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 they do their calling on January 31st, the last day like, of each month kind of thing? <laughs> that's right. All right. I heard that's what happened to Creepy Pete last month. Uh, yeah, it's Creepy Pete, the lizard. He was, <laughs> he was amazing. He was amazing. And Snacky Pete, the extremely fat cat. He was so slow, he had no chance. <laughs> it took him in a second. He didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, I, I want you guys to figure out a way to get the fuck out of here. You, you have all the resources of Streaky Pete, Sleepy Pete, Sweepy Pete, Squeaky Pete, and Sneaky Pete at your disposal. That's right, that's right. I don't know why I spoke in your voice for a minute. Oh man, I just got real nostalgic. I was I was thinking about Snarky Pete, the uh, parrot that swore too much, and so the, the he got taken away. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. So uh, you you kind of adjourned like the meeting room as the the, the overhead light is swinging dramatically and the bullfrog mm. is like kind of doing this with his fingers and he's like, "God help us all!" As you like walk through the front doors and you kind of get the uh, you get the the the, the view. You walk the... through the front doors. Well, that's our way out. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, oh. Damn. You guys rule. Fucking mic drop. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the front doors of like the meeting room area for animals. It's probably not front door, whatever. But uh yeah, you get like a the, like the the view of the entire store from here. You're kind of like up by like the rodent cages and your your uh repertoire of streaky peat, sleepy peat, sweepy peat, sneaky peat, and squeaky peat are all like looking at you and they're like uh yeah, they're they're like we're we're ready for your command. Whatever you desire in this pet store, we will do it for you. They all say that in unison. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> weird tonal thing where it's all mixed up. Except for the snail, which just kind of like <laughs> is extending his purpose. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see the entire store. There's like every aisle of, of the pet store that you can imagine. There's like a food section. Uh, Let's do the plan. Let's do the plan. What was the Toad Father's plan? I forgot. I got ADD. I don't know what that is, but I got it. Uh, and uh, Squeaky Pete uh, pipes up. Uh, he wants you to, uh, you know, uh, figure out a way to get out of the store. <laughs> we, 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 got, we got no plan. He just told to get out. We got no plan. We, we, got, we have no plan. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go shut the door. And I, I, I charge to the front door and I just, I, I'm going to start. I feel like the ferret's first instinct is to look at the exit and just try to smash my body against like, the crack all around the door that I can reach to see if it's like big enough that I can force myself under it. All right, uh, roll for body. All right, so I'm a, I'm a plus two on body. So I rolled a nine plus two. That's eleven. Oh, so that's super good. Of course. Yeah, you, I'm not gonna let Skeeter you know, don't mess so around. Super quick though. Uh, yeah, you, you're like you're like nyah, 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 and kind of like just digging at the the corner of the door there, just going like freaking crazy. And uh, you you kind of like notice that there's a crack that's going like along the bot. It's like a two panel glass door. Um, there's like a crack that's going along the bottom part of the glass panel at the bottom panel. Sorry. So you don't really get out, but you do observe that like with enough force, you might be able to break through the the bottom panel. Okay. Uh, I back up, charge again, and start sprinting, and just like try to throw myself at the bottom panel. Yeah. So yeah, you like with all your like, because I own a ferret. Your you're, like quarter pound of mass, it's like ah! flies through the the air. It's like a noodle, kind of like wiggling through the air, and just, <laughs> just like hit the side of the door and fall down to the ground. Do I break the glass? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like that's my turn. So I don't know. Um. Come on, guys! Come on, guys! Got to help out! You got to help out! We got no time to waste. We got, uh, we got, uh, we got too many, we got too many peats here, and not enough, uh, not enough cleats. Is is there a, is there a window in the in the shop, like a some sort of yeah. window thing? Yeah, totally. So, uh, yeah, there's like this is like a you can imagine like a freaking North American shopping mall with houses with a bunch of connected buildings. There's like two gigantic windows on either side of the door. And a little swing door action with the two panels of glass. Okay. 
Um, so let me show everyone here. We have Sneaky Pete, who's a weasel. We have Squeaky Pete, who's a mouse. Yeah. We have <laughs> Sweepy Pete, the chinchilla. Yeah. Um, Sleepy Pete, the bat. And <laughs> Streaky Pete, the snail. Okay. The five of them. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, go on, Katie, with your plan. I know, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying to... See good one I'm wondering if um if there's like also like like a way out the window somehow or like a way through the vents or something oh vents yeah totally um we have all these sneaky squeaky yeah. sleepy things yeah totally so <laughs> yeah you're looking around and you can totally see like one of those like paneled uh yeah rated uh, vent kind of things that like yeah like, that's a system it goes cool, like cool. through the entire building and there's definitely like a panel with like four screws on the corner that like looks like you could get in and out and you kind of hear the hum of air coming into the building from there can i try and jump up to see if i can like knock it loose yeah roll body or do you have dice i can roll for you i've got dice oh nice good job since we're talking about sound effects can you do that hum what does that hum sound like <laughs> Oh yeah, that's an air vent if I ever heard one. So hey, you hear that? You hear that? that? That's the air vent. That's the air vent. We gotta go to the air vent. I rolled a seven. Seven. Does that mean it par partially works? What was? I don't know. It's up to you. Wait, what? Oh, what, yeah. what was she rolling? Uh, body. What was Her body? Uh, one eight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you like. You're like, uh, don't worry, guys, I got this. And you do like a cool, like, cat, like, you jump from like shelf to shelf, knocking over yeah. like food and like kitty litter <laughs> totally. all over the ground. And uh, you can kind of like from the top of the uh, shelves, you kind of like leap up and you can definitely reach it. And you do like the little like ring thing when you hit like the grates. Um, <laughs> and it, it seems like it's like screwed into the HVAC thing. Like, you're not going to be able to knock it loose, but maybe you could pry pry the panel off or take off the screws or something like that but you get it you get a real good look at it and you're high up onto the, the shelves there nice and uh uh sleepy pete is like <laughs> actually just hanging off of the vent beside you and like the <laughs> bling of it just like uh, 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 uh. yeah no i'm awake yeah what's up <laughs> oh oh you're trying to get in the vents there and I'm like, oh, sleepy Pete, always one step behind. <laughs> and he's like, hey, that's not. And he just passes out beside you. <laughs> I want, I want to hop around like directly below, um, sleepy Pete, just kind of hopping and like doing little like ferret arcs and be like, hey, 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 Pete, sleepy Pete, sleepy Pete, sleepy Pete, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Uh... Is it nighttime? It's nighttime, right? Yeah, it's like it's so, like evening. You okay, so Sleepy I feel like Sleepy Pete should be waking up. Sleepy Pete, I feel like you should be waking up. Come on, come on. It's like it's like eleven a.m. for you. Like you're 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 sleeping in. Come on, come on. Oh what? Oh my god. And he like looks at his watch. He's like, oh my god, it's eleven p.m. I slept in so long. I'm so sorry, guys. <sighs> he does a little bat twitch. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm with I'm I'm with you guys. Pick what? me up. Pick me up. Okay, sure. And he like he like he's bat so he's real tiny but he's like Whoosh. i'm surprisingly light yeah oh yeah yeah and he li lifts you up towards the, the vent yeah so i won't try to chew through the screws yeah roll body now biting is my unique talent so i don't know how that does that does that affect anything i'll just give you a bonus does that make sense plus five plus five i Damn. don't know or a roll with advantage what's the bonus I, I, I don't know i thought we weren't playing with special but... just roll just roll all right yeah uh, I got an eight plus two is a ten. Ten, yeah, totally. So like he like holds you up, and it's almost like he's holding like a power tool. Like you're just like, <laughs> you just like <laughs> don't even just gnaw off the screws. You just like he just like welds a hole through the HVAC system using the ferret. It's like a semi-automatic like cutting machine. Yeah, which yeah. is exactly what welding is. It's making holes and things. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. ferret-powered welding machine. And you just hear like the bonk as the the grate falls onto the ground. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. And Come all on. the Pete's cheer. Yay! At the same time. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? Why are you waiting for us, Ricky Pete? Why are you being so slow? I haven't I haven't heard shit from you. 
And he's like, he just does that thing with his like antenna eyeballs. That, like, <laughs> and uh, Squeaky Pete's like, hey man, you got a real shit attitude. You call me a fucking weasel. Um, you know, fucking. Uh, sorry, this is which streaky, streaky Pete. <laughs> sorry, the uh, uh, the weasel, Sne- yeah. sneaky Pete. Sorry, right. not squeaky Pete. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you got a real fucking attitude, man. You like you call me a fucking weasel. You know I feel that. You know that streaky Pete can't talk, man. Give him a fucking break. Am is I it like a little bit racist that, that we call him sneaky Pete? Because like sneaky's like kind of like a stereotype about weasels. Did he like make this nickname yeah, up himself? He, he did like a. Uh, uh, Definitely one step above a microaggression, but not like full on <laughs> weasel racism. Great, got it. Okay, weasels. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I currently still being held by Sleepy Pete? Yes, in the air. Yep. And uh, Sneaky Pete is on the ground. Uh, yeah, he's like uh, the, all the Petes are kind of like traveling up the the uh, uh, all the shelves in respective animal ways. Okay. Okay, well, I want to try to. I I have forgotten about like we successfully chewed through the grate right yeah yeah there's a giant hole so, and the 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 whir of the HVAC like went from like <laughs> to like whoa <laughs> okay. yeah now he's doing his business poor HVAC uh, well, <laughs> I'm a, I have a very one track mind and I'm pissed off at Sneaky Pete so I want to try and direct Sleepy Pete to drop me like just dive bomb drop me onto Sneaky Pete. To engage, let me at him. Let me at him. Drop me at him. Come on, come on. Drop me. I don't, I know you're lazy. Just let me. Just drop me. He's like, okay, I will. But I don't think a race war between the weasels and drop me. Right drop me. It's a good idea. Drop okay, fine. Bitch. Here we go. <laughs> he like drops you down, and you're like <laughs> flying through the air towards. Uh, yeah. So sneaky Pete. as I reach Sneaky Pete, I try to bite his like carotid artery. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Okay. Roll body. So vicious, Skeeter. You're so vicious. <laughs> Uh, okay, so with my plus two, that's a 12. Wow, okay. It's Sneaky Pete's like, oh man, I've had enough. <laughs> and just like, it's like almost an anime. Like, it just like, you hear like a, see like a white swing go like across his like, mm-hmm. body. And like, it's like, you didn't even stop. You just like sliced him right, right in the throat. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. And then like all the other Pete's are like looking at you like, what? What? <laughs> Oh wait, let's do Squeaky Pete. Yeah. Why did you do that? All right, I look at, I try to look at all of them at once, but especially Squeaky Pete. And I'm like, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else got a problem? Come on, come on! I got us out of here. Let's no, go. Yeah, let's go. No. Okay, uh, roll Psyche for okay. you're just trying to intimidate all the Pete's that were on your side. Generally, sure. To... I mean, I do hate, and I do hate to break the fourth wall here, but Nicole, do you remember? Did we put something in the like GM contract that said that the GMs have to bring up anime like once per episode? Because I feel like we're on a streak here between him and Josh. I mean, they just have to bring it up enough that we can, like, roast them about it, so. Oh, uh, fair that's fair, yeah. Yeah, so a few more jokes, and then at the end of the show, we'll think of something. <laughs> okay, so my total uh, uh, six plus one is seven. And all the Pete's are, like, kind of back away from you, and they're like, uh, Pierre, Pierre. Uh, Pierre Aquito, man, what's with your homie? Like, who is this? Who's the Mexican one? Uh, we're gonna call that Sleepy Pete the Chinchilla. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, you get your homeboy under control, man. <laughs> you, you just killed uh, Sneaky Pete. And I he go, was like a brother to me. I go, he is better off dead. We all are. Uh, <laughs> wow, yeah, roll, roll, uh, Psyche. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> okay. People to your way. <laughs> Am I going to convince them to, like, do some, like, mass, some sort of mass suicide ritual? No, I'm not. Um, I got a full five. <laughs> How did we jump straight to mass suicide ritual? I thought... <laughs> uh, and uh, Squeaky Pete looks at you and he's like, I love being alive. I don't really feel like dying. I want to get out of here. I, but I'm kind of scared of uh, Skeeter. <laughs> So let's go. Let's go. Show me the way. Parakuto, Parakuto, you haven't carried me out. Carry me, carry me out of this vent. Let's go with this vent. Come on. And I go. I'll buy you smokes. (laughs) Okay. I'll do it for the cigarettes. And I grab you, but I'm like kind of rough about it. Like I probably I like dig my claws into your like flesh a little bit. I'm like, all right. And I flap my wings, and try to aim for the grate. 
kind of old though, so. Nice. Um, yeah. You're just gonna um, eat him into the hole. Oh no! I'm gonna like I'm thinking I'm gonna fly right up into the grate and like, like oh, we're gonna yeah. both going in there. All right, and all the peats are kind of like wait, it's part of me, and everyone like joins hands and you like <laughs> pull a string of animals and like. Oh Jack Jesus Christ! Iconic. Oh, I'm so out of shape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I smoke so much? <laughs> you can do it! Yeah! And like Jack Onyx like links on at the very end there and it just like <gasps> it like kind of like <laughs> it kind of heaves a bit, mm-hmm. but you do manage to pull everyone up into the vent. Where the <laughs> sound of the vent is really like going at this point. It's like oh, oh. <laughs> it's real loud. Right. But uh, yeah, you're all in the vent and it's, it's pitch black. So does it sound different when we're in it compared to when we're like outside of it? Yeah, because like it used to be like, <laughs> yeah. and then when you made the hole, it was like, <laughs> but now it's like, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's pitch black in there. But does Parakito, um, do they have like, do they light their, how do they light their cigarettes? Do they oh, have anything nope. on them? I usually get the shop. I I usually get the shop owner to light one for me. I don't know uh, why I'm this. Light one for me before he leaves. But um, and you do remember shoot. that uh, the shopkeep keeps all the cigarettes by the uh, the till behind, like in the employees area. So I go, Jesus Christ, and I go back, and so I'm gonna. So I guess I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly to go and get it. Um, yeah. Cool. Where's the? Is there like a door between me and the employees area? Uh, no, it's just like behind the cash register on the on a counter kind of thing. Okay. But uh, cool. yeah, you fly over and you can see the 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 lighter that he usually uses for you. And but beside the lighter, you see um, some adoption form papers for Parakito by the shop owner. Oh no! And uh, just a little note: he obviously wrote on the papers for himself. He's just like, I freaking love this bird, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't just run away someday. <laughs> um, Never right. write that shit down because it will always bite you in the yeah. ass. <laughs> it's like, always like you I write know. in your journal. You're like, oh boy, I just met someone. I hope it's the real deal. Like I hope they don't like. Hope I don't get. I pregnant. don't hope they don't really marry the pool boy or the baker instead. And then every <laughs> single time you write it down, it always looks so dumb in retrospect. You're like, well, that's exactly what happened. Of course it did. <laughs> Should we do we like go through your journal next episode and figure out the year that you were journaling? Is that why you stopped journaling? I mean, we don't figure anything <laughs> out. That's exactly what happened. She ran off with the baker, and I stopped journaling. I mean, okay. This is like a death note or whatever like your journal actually influences the real world hmm. well, I assume at, so. least, at least she didn't run up with the pool boy though so that's the second yeah that's fair that's the second uh, it... anime reference as well so one more and then we're going to roast you about mm-hmm. it later <laughs> perfect I think your theory is correct because the last thing I wrote in that journal before I gave up was wow this uh, coronavirus seems like the real deal and I just stopped writing so maybe that's why we're still in the same spot <laughs> Yeah, could you just put a period on that sentence so we can... I'll put like an ellipsis and then not and then an exclamation point and then we'll be back on track. Yeah, maybe edit that for us. Edit that for nice. us. I, I told you though, it's full. I'm out of room. There's no other. There's no way to... Maybe a sticky note. <laughs> and it only sort of happens. Yeah. 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 Well, that was the vaccines. Like someone wrote vaccines are good on a sticky note, put it in there, but then it fell out. And then it's like, well, now we're kind of back. Oh, now they're started. kind of medium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's happening in the story? Oh, yeah. So uh, Par- Parakito managed to the, grab the, the lighter. But so, also... quick question. Can I read? Uh, yeah, uh, now you can. Yeah, totally. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping I could just fly away from this note. <laughs> no, no. You're conflicted. Uh, uh... He's getting stuff up with the can translate human can you translate all human languages or just like specifically english i'd say like english and french probably english french and, and a little japanese my japanese is rusty though yeah yeah mm. and one one swear word in german <laughs> <laughs> um okay so i read the note um and a single tear rolls down my feathered cheek and i go i wish i could oh. trust you but i've been burned before and I, <laughs> oh, nice. and I uh, pick up the lighter and I fly back up to the vent. Do you do like a dramatic like 
flick of the lighter when you say that? I would, but I don't have hands. So right, you need right. Okay. But I'm yeah. thinking about it. I'm thinking if that if I did have hands, I would just light those papers on fire. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you fly up back to the the crew, no problem, and uh, return the lighter. And uh, uh, Sweepy Pete looks at you and he's like, "Oh, nice, no problems." <laughs> and I look off into the distance and I say, "No." <laughs> it's like I'm over here. Is that all? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's do this. Man. <laughs> yeah, seems seems like that went really well. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Sweet. So, uh, yeah, let's give that lighter to someone with fingers. Do I have fingers? I guess you got like. I feel like Jack on. Onyx has fingers. Like, yeah, like kind of like paw fingers. Like maybe if you held it with like, two paws, you could like. All right. Oh, yeah, like with my... Every, everyone roll body and see who can use the lighter. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gotta, yeah. You guys go ahead. What did you get? I got four. I got f five minus one, which is also four. <laughs> no. What did you get? Well, I got a 12 before <laughs> my plus two. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, God, uh, yeah, you you know, you're, like, you're just kind of like think in your head. You're like, oh, I've never actually tried. And you like do it and just like, it like <laughs> just pops out of <laughs> And Jack's like, Kind of like pause, but it just like you basically just like volleyball spike it over towards uh uh Skeeter and he like does like a cool wrap around, he catches it and like flips it in there and just like and like lights it and he's got like huddled up in his little ferret armpit. <laughs> he does it very, very good. He does that thing where you flick it open on your jeans one way and then flick it the other way because it's a zippo clearly. You flick it yeah, open on yeah, your oh, jeans, yeah. flick it the other way and it lights up. Oh, cool. but he like rolls it around like along the spine of his fair body. It's like <laughs> and then like <laughs> shoots up into the air and you're like you yeah, you, you catch it and you got a, a lighter. And like all the Pete's kind of like look at each other and then like look at you and you're like, All right, Skeeter, I guess we'll follow you. Yeah, aren't, aren't you glad it wasn't a plus three in body? Like what would you even describe for that? Like you just breathe fire. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I can't. You absorb the essence of the lighter and become the yeah. fire. Like, become yeah, you, the, the fire, lighter. yeah. <laughs> breathe fire now. See, if we were the kind of people that had a fan base, somebody who is talented would have like animated that little sequence where I lit the lighter. But uh, yeah. Okay, wait. So I lit we'll the hope. lighter. That's where we're at. Yep. One yeah, day. you got the lighter, and everyone's kind of like, you've taken a leadership position here. You kind of like, you're the only one who can like see using the lighter. Uh, I, I guess I kind of wait. Isn't Jack Onyx a cat? Don't cats have like some sort of night vision? I guess whatever. It's too late for that. Go on. Oh yeah, sorry. I I, yeah, I, I push forward. I push forward you, like you, with the lighter. Matter. Like I have lighter lit, and I push forward, and I'm like, man, this still sucks. This sucks a lot. I kind of hate holding it. It's really hot. God, I wish somebody here had night vision. I say it like really passively, aggressively. <laughs> and I'm like hanging out in the corner of the vent uh and i'm like i i have night vision <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck she's at night vision come on come on let's go let's go but let's i'm go. like i didn't want to help you i'll keep i'll keep the lighter burning just in case i didn't uh i didn't disclose it before because you all seem like you're in your own internal fight you ferrets and you all you rodents so if you can't you be a team, I'm not going to lead you. <laughs> and uh, as you guys are kind of like arguing, uh, Squeaky Pete kind of chimes up. He's like, oh, look at the lighter. And you can see like the, the flame of the lighter kind of kind of like directing down one passage of the, the like HVAC kind of like tunnel. Mm -hmm. Tubing. He's like, that could, that could be leading the way out. I... I think we should follow the cat. Let's follow the cat. Follow the cat. Okay, we'll just follow the cat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And then I start running <laughs> down, and, uh, down the vent. Uh, yeah, and every, okay, cool. And everyone's, uh, I guess, following you. Um, I'm doing that awkward bird waddle thing because birds aren't meant to walk. And the bat doesn't really have enough room to fly, so he's doing the same thing. <laughs> 
Uh, and I'm uh, struggling to keep up running, and so I eventually give up holding the lighter, and I let it go out, and I try not to reflect on how utterly pointless that extremely cool move was when we're following <laughs> the cat anyway. And you have a lighter. I just try to carry it with me and catch up to the cat. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, you, you're like charging down this uh these tunnels, and you I guess are you just gonna like follow kind of where the lighter is like the wind is going kind of thing yeah like oh i don't yeah i i think maybe i'm following like don't do i have any like you know how cats can like they're very agile so they can like sense corners and things like they're very like yeah yeah do i have any of those <laughs> feel things yeah I'm, around. like navigating it kind of yeah yeah Cool. Yeah. So like you're kind of like weaving through, kind of like following where the wind is like pulling you because maybe it like goes yeah. to a vent, goes outside or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a, there's like a draft. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This dra yeah you're following the draft and you like yeah. kind of turn this corner with everyone kind of like following behind you and you see like this giant fan just like, <laughs> like kind of like chopping in front of there. And you, uh, you see, uh, uh, the moonlight coming in through past the fan, uh, but you see a silhouette kind of leaning against the the tunnel there as the fan is like <laughs> chopping through, and then he's like, "Well, well, well, if it isn't the terrorists!" And like he steps forward, and you can see the outline of like a, a weasel that's like missing his eye, and he's got like a <laughs> scar across his forehead, and he's wearing like a, a fedora. <laughs> And he's like, is that just a character just... from the new Ice Age movies? Sorry, Sorry nothing. Go ahead. No, I, no, <laughs> probably, no, let's dive probably, into that. probably. <laughs> and he's like, uh, he yeah, was wearing like a fedora. He's like, it's the goddamn worms and his worm worm family. Isn't that right, you piece of shit, Skeeter? You, you're a real piece of shit. You know that. <laughs> I, I'm, not a, I'm not a worm. I'm a ferret. I'm a ferret. Uh, you got the wrong guy. You, you want this guy. And I point over at Streaky Pete. Who, I mean, I assume somehow Streaky Pete kept up with us. No, he's just come around the corner. Oh, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> little, uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's the worm. That's the worm. Yeah, I, I meant a, a figurative worm. You you are a piece of shit. You know that. I don't know. I don't know what figurative means. And then, then I look over at Jack Onyx and I'm like, is it did? Why don't you do something about this guy? Use your uh, use your intimidation, intimidating British accent. <laughs> and the, yes. uh, the the weasel looks at you and he's like, "Jack, we go way back, Jack." And uh, and I I do go way back with this weasel, and I, I I start speaking to him in our in our language of our the part of England that we met in, um, which Let's, was the uh, yeah. Yeah, Let's uh, yeah. speak in our native tongue together. Uh, well, there. What do you think you're doing? You think that you Wait, can what? stop <laughs> us? What happened to the Brotherhood? Oi, oi, mate. The Brotherhood's long gone. You know that. Yeah, been... I know. I know it died when I... <laughs> when our friend... I know... I know it died when our friend also died our best Correct. friend we could never greg <laughs> very british you guy. know greg <laughs> yeah. but just let us pass through or we're gonna have to have another showdown like well, the one we had with greg boy i don't want to have to kill i'm so bad at british i'm so sorry i don't want to have to kill another unlucky uh bastard like greg but the Skeeter fellow, I'm Scottish now. Skeeter fellow. I don't know about that chap. I don't know about him at one bit. He just killed the best mate. Ah, your, your Scottish roots are coming out. Oh, mine are too. It's easier. <laughs> it's contagious, I We're, know. We also did a spell in Scotland where we also lost another friend. Um, Yeah, no, I know great. Uh, Skeeter is a annoying um, at best. It's but, Yes, but we need him because he uh he sort of uh sort of keeps all the other uh, rodents in check, you know, and uh, we just we ask for your mercy to pass this one time. Uh, roll psyche because that's actually a very good reason. 
five minus one, four. <sighs> Mate, I wish it could be that easy, but he's got to pay for his crimes. Look here, give give me a chance to best Skeeter and one uh, ferret on weasel combat, and I might consider letting you pass if I'm alive. Well, that, that is the code, I suppose. I'm for it. All right, and he like spits in his hand, and he like reaches out to you. He's like, "What? No spit? <laughs> Sorry." <laughs> there we go. It's been a while since I met one of my brothers. <laughs> it's kind of gross that you didn't do that. <laughs> and he like uh, he walks over. He's like, "All right, back to normal English." <laughs> That's too bad. I, really, I, I honestly, I, do you feel like you finished that conversation? Because I would really like to see you two talk just a little more. You just have a great time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, Oi, uh, shall this we... guy really uh, digs our accents. Yes. Shall we switch to our third dialect, Australian? Because oh. mine is. Let's, <laughs> yes. Let's express our the full range of our cultural experience. Experiences together, mate. Yes. All right. Uh, well, you know, I I've got to say when you uh, I know when you face off Skeeter that you are a very uh, you're very good in combat. You've proved that time and time again. You're very strong. Uh, uh well then, yeah, square to go. Like you know, I'm about to, you know, put a one-two. I'm gonna about to box his freaking ears. If you know what I mean. Yes. Uh, but you know, um. Remember, there's the rule of, um, you know, because you're much larger than Skeeter, that perhaps he could assign uh, another type of animal to also combat with him, like a, like a flying type animal. Or the ancient rule of the Blood Brothers. I That's know what right. You're talking about where he who has no wings may gather assistance from wings when he is smaller than the other opponent. It's a very oh, yeah. well worded I, script. That's right then. <laughs> but the rule does dictate I'm allowed one blood brother as well. <laughs> but he's also got to have wings. So I'm going to take uh, Sleepy Pete. <laughs> he's going to be my mate. Sleepy Pete, all right. Skeeter. All right. Who will yeah. you take? Oh, sorry. He, he can't understand us when we're talking. Skeeter, you're allowed a b blood brother in this battle. I've already claimed. <laughs> Uh, Sleepy Pete is my blood brother. Well, I definitely want Paracino. He's a very he's a very quiet individual, so I feel like I feel like he's the kind of person that would take a moment of tension like this and just completely smash it with an incredibly dramatic line to leave us on uh, almost a hanging point, uh, da, 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 like a, like a, like an act break, if you will. Oh yeah, like a like an episode finishing kind of cliffhanger one liner. That's <laughs> that, there's a lot of responsibility on a line like that. Yeah, it's the kind of thing I understand really well from uh, all the TVs on the pet store. What do you think, Parakito? Um, and Parakito turns to the group and says... <laughs> hey, bada bing, bada boom! <laughs> <laughs> the music cue is broken. Imagine it's the dramatic swell of the... <laughs> of the the game ending sound i'm waiting for what parakeeto is going to say yes um parakeeto turns to the not camera to the group yes yeah, the camera yeah. says qua that's it <laughs> <laughs> amazing yeah it's called the end here in this 